Why hello everyone and a welcome back to Satisfactory. This is Otaku Showboat and the last time we met. I set up the final two ingredients for the current phase of the space elevator. Today, we need power. We unlocked the ability to get power out of fuel. Ollie's playing with his his chipmunk baby next to me. Hey, it's your baby. What are you doing knocking it to the floor? Why are you knocking your, floor, your baby to the floor? And of course I am joined by Dolly. Her, it's her resting nap time. It's her, it's her nap time for the, for the baby. Yeah, it's the nap time for the baby. She likes, she likes being up there, being nice and close to me. She feels so safe and secure when she's right behind my head. Uh, so we need power. I have several pipes of. 300 meters cubed per second of oil coming in. We need to convert this oil into fuel and deal with the byproduct and put down a lot, a lot of oil generators. I am not kidding. It is, it is going to be 17 oil generators, which is why I added this, uh, this uh, shopping list of stuff. You see, it still needs rubber. Fortunately, the rubber is here. So I don't need to worry about that uh, per se or exactly. Just just because I know it's here. Otherwise, I have a pretty full up inventory at the moment. Looks like I can do a couple more lines. That'll be That'll be that expansion. Give me, give me my light back. There we go. Funny how the quote unquote moon, it seems to be just another star. It just, it just seems to be just another, another star in the sky. Okay. What are we doing? According to the wiki for setting up the oil at this phase, a base fluid recipe with no alternates. Okay. So, refineries. Let me see. Refinery, refinery, refinery. Where are you? Refineries. Um, I'm thinking that this is actually telling me to do turbo fuel. So it, it may end up being quite different. Uh, because I don't know about the uh, compacted coal. So, yeah, here's here's the thing. Here here's the thing. That 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 might be for later. Uh, fuel. We can make fuel directly. This will give me four fuel from six crude. Yep, four fuel from six crude. So that means 300 would make two? Hundred? I don't know. I've, I'm out of it right now. Uh, we'll have to deal with the resin. That's fine. That That is perfectly okay. Three, four, come on, and the five. There we go. Get this gift out of the way. You are in my way, present. You are absolutely in my way. Now we're making fuel. Straight from crude. Fuel straight from crude. Fuel straight from crude and fuel straight from crude. This should produce 150. Yes. 
uh, five times three, that's 15. So, yep, 150 units of resin. So I am going to need to merge these uh, so I can dump it. into an awesome sink, which is going to be minus 40 megawatts overall, but you know what? It's going to be fine. Have I aligned all of these properly? Matt, somehow I have managed to align all of these things properly. That is a miracle in and of itself. Ah, uh, excuse me. How did I get the foundation instead of the... Excuse me? Okay. How, do, how does one do that twice? Because I'm going too quickly, I guess. There's no such thing as too fast. Ah, da da. Special, awesome sink. Glorious sink. You are going to take in the resin for now. Now uh, that'll be output from this. I need to pay very close attention to how much power I am drawing at any given period of time because, uh,. Yeah, 30 times 5 is 150 megawatts. How much am I? Off by here. Um, it's actually about a gigawatt. Act. Huh? About 800 or so megawatts is my leeway here. It just looks really close, but it is further than I would otherwise imagine. So yeah, we're about 800, 700 ish. So I think we'll be fine, actually. We, sh we should be fine. I need pipes. Uh, I need these kind of pipes. Now, which one of these three am I going to use for this set of five? I should really use the... I, I'm thinking this one here. Just because it is the uh, closest. So we're going to do this as I usually do it. And I am going to use... Mark two pipes for this. Ahem. Oh, come on, snap. Why you no snap? Oh well. Hey, is it this? Is this a. Uh, uh, oh, it's aligned to the center of that machine. I see. And then, sadly, I need more. Stuffs, so I can get more stuffs by removing this line of foundation. Yeah, I'm sure there's 
plenty of excess foundation I can clear out so that I can get in this. Uh, of course you're not going to snap. The first one snapped. None of the others have. There we go. Glorious, beautiful Mark II pipes going in to these buildings. I need to do the same thing on the other side. We'll do it here. Put in the, uh, make sure I follow the grid lines. Although this one will be new. Put in these. Hopefully these snap. Yes, that one snapped. No! I want, you need to snap. Why are you not snapping? That's a major quality of life bug. I would consider that pr a pretty major bug that needs to be fixed as soon as humanly possible. Like that directly impacts my ability to build a base. Okay. That is fuel. As fuel. The next step is to build 17 total fuel generators in a manifold layout. They don't need any solids in, uh, and unfortunately this spacing I don't think works quite right with uh, the fuel generator spacing so no matter what i'm gonna have to do like another line zooping all the way down there so let's do this starting from here one Two, three, four. Oh boy, five, six, seven. That's all I have space for. And I need like th at least to hear this line for foundations. Uh, so that means I can get rid of these two to help extend down a bit. But I am pretty guaranteed at this point to... Uh, need to go back to get more iron plates. I I am f forced to get more iron plates at this point. Uh, cause 95 ain't gonna cut it. Especially as I zoop out the next 30 foundations. Yeah, I barely have enough for another 10 let alone what I'll what I'll need actually I need a fourth because that's the that's the pipeline right there yeah so I have just enough to add that set of 10 which will let me build like what four more fuel generators one
to... Why... Why is there two alignments? Was I off on one of these? It doesn't look like I was off on any of these. So what the hell is it trying to uh, align to? I don't know. Yeah, you see how it's like showing an, an alignment there? But it's it's not a straight line. It's not actually a straight line. That one's the straight line. Right there. So I lost count. I think we're actually building uh, five here. Oh, can we get one more? Can we get one more? Nope. The floor is in fact too steep. So we still are six fuel generators short. Now, if I was an intelligent person, I would have done eight and eight, but I haven't. Uh, so now I need to A, get more rubber from here. Uh, and B, get more concrete and uh, iron plates. I will do that, and I'll see you once I'm back with all the stuff that I need. And I'm back! Huzzah! We're, we're, we've arrived with more stuffs. I have I has more stuffs with me. We can continue to build out the platforms. And place these six remaining fuel generators. Oh boy. Ah, uh, I do not think that I've built this scale to this scale. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I didn't build this many fuel buildings in uh, the last time I played Satisfactory. Back in the days of Update 3. Last Fix Miss. Uh, in fact, it was that that streamed series did go uh, all the way like into, I think, early January. I, th I think I streamed that into early January. Uh, also, I'm not using control because you see how it's actually vertically offset a pixel. When I hold control, the new one is off vertically compared to the one previous. That's why I haven't been doing that. In case you are wondering, I am aware that I can hold control, but you see that vertical offset that happens when I do that snap. I don't know why it does that. Uh, if the developers were to ever fix that, I would actually use the control method of snapping more often. But I absolutely despise that that's what it does i i despise this like that annoys the absolute living hell out of me like for all practical purposes it doesn't matter but to me it matters that it's up a tile or up a pixel compared to everything else next to it have i built all of them have I, have I gone and built everything? I think I've built one more than I needed. Uh, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Or exactly as many as I needed because I just ran out of the computers and I am pretty sure I only carried enough computers to build what I needed to build. Uh, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Woohoo! 
pipes. And needs pipes. Let's be... Let's be centered here. Yep, and then... I'm putting one of these... In between... Every building. That's... That's my arrangement here. And I'll have a single pipe... That goes all along this... That will split... Or that will have junctions uh, on all of it, and uh, it won't matter how I bring the fluid in because we're using Mark II pipes, and this is way less than even a Mark I uh, of fuel uh, in here. Because uh, we're only dealing with, like, what, 200 per second of fuel? Gosh, if only I had built this so that I could mirror it. Or if I could, like, put another set of 16, 17 on the other side. Oh, boy, that would be... That would be, uh, interesting. Huge... Huge, but interesting nonetheless. Have I even brought enough copper sheets with me? I don't know. I, th I hope so. Please snap, please snap, please snap. Thank you for snapping. Yep, and it should be at the exact halfway points on each of these segments. Uh, which brings me to this particular fuel generator right here. This particular fuel generator, the 17th fuel generator, is not going to be operating at 10 or at 100% clock speed, it's going to be operating at 59.0311%. Yep, that's... That, that's what the wiki says anyway. See clock speed for power generators for more details. So how does 59.0311 equal 66%? Or equal, equal to like 0.66 repeating two thirds of this building. Because remember we need 16 and two thirds fuel generators. So how does 59% equal to that? Oh boy, this is, this is math. Hello, page on math. Satisfactory Wiki has a clock speed for power generators on the clock speed page. And oh boy, it, ju it says it just saves building space. Two hundred fifty percent overclock does not give two hundred and fifty percent power as the in-game target megawatt value suggests. The true production values are listed with the generator's fuel. I see. So, with an example of coal 
in the coal generator. Coal's energy is 300 megajoules. And it's 75 megawatts base. The burn time of the coal is 4 seconds. If you increase it to 250%, it actually provides 151.76 megawatts, which is 202.35%. Okay. Yeah, that's a thing for whatever reason. So we just have to trust that this value means burning two thirds. Whatever, what, whatever. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It, yeah, sure. Uh, these buildings yeah it's actually 100 megawatts here it, it I think that has yeah that is that right there is the number this target isn't the number this is the number that you're going off of and we want the hundred here from all the others at 150. Yeah, that'll, that'll be that I absolutely need more stuff. Oh, great. How did I not even bring enough copper sheets? Yeah, I need more copper sheets. Uh, all right. Well, I guess I'll see you when I have the copper sheets. Do any of these align? Do any of these align? No, none of these align. Great. Get in the thing. All right, I have returned. I am I am back. It took uh, just a couple of minutes to go and grab additional uh, doohickeys. Uh, the doest of doohickeys. Um. Yeah, just do that. Connect. Connect. Gee, I hope I have enough cable for the power lines. Oh. Boy, I think I do. I had better have enough stuff for my power lines. Because we need, uh... We need a few power lines. This would probably be an opportunity for me to try out the glorious thing known as the Mark III Power Pole. Oh, God. Uh, I, uh, I bounced off my own machine. I, I bounced off the machine. Here I am trying to go faster, and I bounce off the platform. Oh, satisfactory. Why? Why must you always try to kill me like that? Why does gravity have to be such a pain in the rear end? Anyway, as I was saying... Power pole, Mark three. Not exactly a situation that I would normally see. Wire is too long. All right, then you go there. You have the honors of those three. You have the honors of that one. And that one, and that one.
Can you reach to that one? Yes, you can, but you very likely cannot reach. Oh my god, you reached to that one. Oh my. Oh my. Let's do max reach. So somehow... So that one got powered. Of course the power lines are on the back end of these. Oh yeah, just of, of course it's on the back end of these. Auto save is auto saving. Oh, that reached. Only have two left on this side. No, I want you here. So we need one, two, three, four, and five. And we, of course, need to connect you to main power. Oh, yeah, and we need this connected to, uh, to main power, too. So go ahead and be 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh, isn't it glorious? Isn't that just... Fan-tabulous. There's a whole bunch of stuff going in to make more coupons. 150 resin per second. Uh, now, theoretically, that is a consistent 150 resin per second. Ah, good, you're, you're moving. You've begun to flow. Beautiful. So this will go from like the 3600 that it was uh up to what would that be 51 61 yeah that'll go up to 6100 megawatts at, at the very end uh, of uh of everything once once all the production is getting all utilized and every everything is full up uh because again building in the manifold layout means that uh each one of these splits is a 50 50 split yeah each each one of these is a 50 50 split so we have to wait for the first building the, and the first pipes to get completely full. Ah, oh, the glorious fuel. And it's and it's yellow. This this indicator uh, is yellow. Um my only complaint about this indicator is that it doesn't look like a fluid. Right? It doesn't look like this is like a glass window looking in i mean that's the intent is that the the pipe has this color that will match the color of the fluid that is contained within it that is best done through a window and you know that that sure as heck does not look like a window to me so just like there's so much good to say about the the graphics in this game the graphics are overall great it's just and it's a great concept to have this color here it just i wish it looked more like a fluid rather than just oh the pipe is colored to its contents it just it just has a color for its contents right 
Uh, now this ta will take uh, quite some time to spool up. Interesting. It looks like there's pipes up on the top, but you don't get any. You don't get any smoke out the smoke stacks. On these. Huh. Like you see all the all the pistons moving, but. You don't see any smoke out the smokestack. Huh. I guess whatever... I guess whatever it's pumping out is colorless. I suppose that's the, uh... Reasoning. It must be colorless. Now, how many of these are moving? It looks like you... Yeah, we've got we've got a few here. A whole bunch at the at the end of the little Alright, I'm gonna just eat nuts. I'm I'm just I'm just gonna eat the nuts. Rather than the uh, inhaler. The nuts are far more abundant. I've I've spawned in an area full of full of nuts. All doggos must die. Okay. That should be those local pale berries harvested. Let me up. I should probably build a wall. Just, just saying. I should, I should probably build a protection wall. So that doesn't happen again. Or more platform. Uh, you know, or more platform would probably be nice. I think I'm just going to build walls down the line. Watch me somehow manage to uh, go over my own wall to drop to my death. Yeah, this this seems safer. Which if I, if I was doing this, I could have actually just put the thingies on a wall. You know what? I would end up going over my own wall. I'm gonna make it twice as high. I absolutely would end up jumping over my own wall straight to the ground. I know myself better than that. My jumps can already clear the uh, the the top. I don't want to take chances. Now this should be pretty safe, it's just as long as I'm not doing it from on top of the pipeline. Ahem. <clears throat> All right. Cool. We're like at our max consumption. We've still got more to go. As as things progress here. This should still be providing uh, the 300 flow rate. Uh, and it is. So that's good. These these five are flowing. They are absolutely flowing. All green lights. Yep. The, the polymer is voiding. Polymer doesn't need to void. I, as I said, this is going to be a consistent supply of resin, of 150 resin per minute. So I can absolutely filter out. I can I can use a uh, a smart splitter to as a priority splitter to prioritize output for processing into plastic and rubber 
as a primary means of getting plastic and rubber. That That is an option. For now, though, let's have a look at our Fixmas stuff. Let's end off today's video by going and scaling up Fixmas yet again. Just, uh, just a bit. Just a bit. How's that, uh, how's that radar looking? Uh, it looks like the radar has revealed through here. It has revealed more stuff just of the map itself. Again, I really don't need it to show me the map itself. I need it to show me the resources on the map. Not really what the map looks like. I mean, it's great to know if I'm using my beacons where the stuff is for my beacons, but eh, eh, I don't, I don't care. Actually, I need to, I need to go down. I need to go this way. Ah, oh, this way. Hello, this way. Now, I thought it must be down another level. Yeah, it's there. Ow. Hello. This is where I put my ornament bundle. Well, fortunately, I found it. Uh, I don't think I have enough stuff to use it yet. Uh, I need 200 each of the iron and copper versions of the ornaments in order to use uh, to unlock the next tech. Uh, that would allow me to actually make these ornament bundles. Yeah, and they just combine the, uh, the two. To make those bundles. I absolutely have more than 200. I absolutely have more than 200. Sadly, though, I don't have another 20 of those. That would have been really nice to, to keep scaling the, uh, the trees. You stacked to 500? Uh, okay, I think... I think that I don't need these anymore to be stored up like this. So that's immediately going to double the production of the stuff, which, by the way, I cut off. I did cut off everything... But the uh, the branches and the ornaments, I cut off the bows and the candy canes. I will re-add them once I have enough stuff flowing, enough presents flowing to justify that. But for the moment where I need 10 plus another 5, where I need 15. Hmm. You know, I might be able to justify it. I need 15 plus another 10. I need 25? You know, I'm producing 45. That would bring me to 40. And that'll be all that I add for the moment. Okay. More. More stuff. Where's, where's ma'am? Ma'am! Hello, ma'am. Give me this tech. Upgrade 2. Let's go. Ta-da. We're checking it twice. We're gonna find out who's been selling the spice. Fixmas is coming to town. Alrighty then. That's a lot of stuff that I could immediately unlock. Oh, and that that unlocks the ornament bundle? 
Really? Really? Okay. I will need to unlock the decoration. But I have to start with this one. I have to start with the lights, then the decoration, and then the uh, tree upgrade three. Uh, and then one of these things is going to unlock the topper, I think down here. Uh, and then there's even more stuff to, to unlock, really. But we're, we're getting there. We, we're getting there. Okay. We need 100 each of the regular kind, plus 50 each of those. Now, that will require a bit of modification, shall we say. A bit of modification. Now, this will use 15 per minute, and this will use 10. Uh, I'm making 10 of these, and I'm making 10 of these. So, we're going to need more. We're gonna need more smelters smelting. More smelters smelting. To get done what we need to get done here. But I have at least unlocked that next milestone. So, now that that's happened and now that I have more power, it looks like we're Almost there. It's just it just hit 6100 megawatts. That's our cap. That's our cap is 6100. It will take some time to stabilize, but it will stabilize at 6100 megawatts of production, constant production. So I'll need to like figure out what I'll do with the 150 ish per minute of the resin. For now, I've got nothing. For for now, I have nothing. As another gift falls right above my head. Store it. Thanks. Uh, so, you can make plastic uh, as well as rubber uh, out of resin. Uh, so yeah, you've got this. You've got this resin plus water uh, into rubber, and this plastic plus or this blah, this resin plus water into plastic. You get two plastic. You get two rubber. It just changes uh, how much resin you need for each. They're pretty good recipes. They're pretty good recipes. Used as a less efficient coal replacement or for aluminum refinement. Aluminum refinement, excuse me. They, they do spell it the way that I normally would say that word. Ah. Yeah. So that's, that's that. As they say. As I they say. That is that. It would be nice to have like a dedicated residual heavy oil, like heavy oil recipe. Oh, there it is. Residual fuel. Alternate turbo heavy fuel. But that needs compacted coal. So I don't remember. Did I unlock compacted coal? Have I unlocked that? Because I do have that turbo heavy fuel recipe uh, at, available at some point. But yeah, that that's just notes for the future we have a better looking tree now it's got candy canes it's got some red ornaments and other some other colors of ornaments it's got all the all the colors the four colors as well as the lights it's it's looking better it's not it's not done up yet it's not not finished yet but uh yeah it is it is looking looking nicer uh, at this point and uh yeah, I just need to continue scaling the present production, which I will do off screen between recording sessions because we have in fact reached the end. We have in fact reached the end of today's video. 
having set up the glorious and beautiful power out of fuel. Fluid fuel based power. Oh boy. That is fantastic to finally be there. And having just now scaled a little bit more on the tree present ge generation. I would like to thank you all for watching. This has been Ataku Shibut. If you have enjoyed today's video, please be sure to do all of the social and engagement stuff down below. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and hit the notification bell. Consider becoming a member of the channel by hitting the great big blue join button and supporting on Patreon at patreon.com slash otakushowboat if you are so inclined and able. I will be back when I am back and I will see you all on the next one.